Hi, hello, this is Balaji. Welcome back to the channel. Today, let's try to understand how to solve a retention question. So, this question was asked at a company called Swiggy. Uh, so, the question says, write a query to get the month-on-month -month retention of a customer. That is essentially customer retention. So, definition of retention, a customer is considered to be retained in a given month. If the customer has made at least one successful transaction in the immediate previous month and at least one successful transaction in the current month. So I have a sample table here, table name transactions. So if you see here, uh, we have three customers, customer ID 1, 2 and 3 and the respective transaction dates. So if you see in the current month, if it is 1, we have uh, customer ID 1 who has made a transaction in January customer id 2 in january and customer id 3 in january so current month user is 3 and because there is no month before january the last month user is 0 and coming down to month number 2 february so we have your customer id 1 who has made a transaction in february same as a customer id 2 but not 3 so we have only two current month users and out of the two how many have plays in uh, made a transaction in the previous month we have one and one again here so we have two current month users and two last month users that is essentially 100 percent retention and coming down we have only one user who has placed an order in the month three and the same user has placed an order in the month previously and therefore we have 100 percent retention and in the fourth month we have only one user but the user has not placed an order ever before so the last month user is zero and therefore we have zero retention so by definition this is how retention is calculated so let's go to the console and look for how to write how, how to write the query so i have some data here which has a customer id and the transaction date so select all from transactions data is on the right so let me get the data in the format that I need so select transactions customer id extract month from transaction date as months transaction date so I'll consider this as a master table with master x let me realign for you Yeah, we have the customer ID, month, and the transaction date. So this will be our this month's table. This month. So let's clone this table and add a left join. So left join masters last. This month dot customer ID equals last month dot customer ID and this month dot months minus last month dot months equal to one. So we are considering that a customer has to have at least one transaction in the immediate two months and therefore the difference between the two months would be one so let's check this all yes so we have the current month data and all those customers who have had a transaction in the immediate previous month and therefore the difference between 
February and January is one. Similarly, if you go down, all of these are customers who have difference in the cust uh, in the number of months as one. So we have this data. Let me align it for you. So this essentially takes care of difference in the month equal to one month. Alright. So let me uh, make this look simpler and I'll make this as a consolidated CTE. Yes. So from here what do we need? We need the customer ID, the current month number and the customer ID in the following month. Sorry, the last month. So this month dot month comma this one dot customer id as current month customer comma last one dot customer id as last month customer Just call the CT outside. Okay. From consolidated. So what mistake did we make? Yes. Yeah. So we have the month number, the current month customers, and the last month customers who have bought in the current month as well as last month. So let's just group them. So it says in month number one, we have five unique current month customers. So let's check. So this is month number one up until here. And we have customers of customer ID one, two, three, four, five. So yes, it's five customers. And from the previous month, we do not have any customers and thus it's zero. And similarly, in February, we have custom ID 1 and custom ID 2, so we have 2. And from the previous month, we have both of these customers have come in the previous month, and therefore it's 2 again. So, see, I remove this. Let's check what happens. Yes, so we have only custom ID 1, and the same customer has placed an order in the previous month. And if I change this to 3, 
it remains it's one and three here but say if we have nine here so we have two customers many customers for the current month and out of the two only one of them has placed an order in the previous month and therefore uh, this is the absolute number of current month customers and the number of customers retained and if you need a percentage here we can do the same so yeah we cut this this time something yes so it's null here because we do not have any customer from the previous month and it's 50 percent because we are eating one out of the customers yeah retention percentage is here and yes so this is how we calculate retention and thank you